Hey, keeping an eye on entertainment now. CBS's SEAL team is back with episodes, and last month, the military action drama left us with quite the cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. We're about to get a look at what happened. Just a warning, though, this video might be a little intense this early in the morning for some viewers. Change in operators aren't always a good mix. Video just came in. That's Perry. SEAL has never been in enemy captivity before. I want my team back. Bravo is not deployable. They are with me. Good to have our QB back. I'm not back, Sonny. I'm just here for Ray. He'll be without Overwatch or a close QRF. Well, we'll take that deal. Well, one of the main characters in the show, Warrant Officer Ray Perry, goes missing after the explosion you just saw. Quite the turn of events for the SEAL Team series. Actor Neil Brown Jr. plays Warrant Officer Perry. You might recognize him from movies like Fast and Furious and Straight Outta Compton. And he joins us live this morning with a preview of some of the new episodes. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely excited to talk to you. This is one of those shows that I, I can't watch before bed because oh, I yeah. have a hard time winding down. <laughs> I mean, it is like so adrenaline packed. So uh, tell us about where the last couple episodes left viewers, this cliffhanger and, and where we're headed. Um, well, you know, uh, Ray Perry uh, has been promoted to Warren Officer Perry, and now he's on special assignments. And on his first assignment, he gets, you know, you know, he gets exploded. <laughs> the, 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 the coffee shop he's in gets blown up, and he gets taken by a group of bad guys. They, they put the screws to him a little bit, and he has this opportunity to uh, escape. He goes for it um, with Bravo team also there trying to get to him, and they just miss each other. Uh, he fails that part, and they fail to find him, and now he's been sold to another group. Uh, who's even worse than the first guys who had him. And um, now we're going to see if he's able to endure what they're going to do to him and escape, uh, and if Bravo is able to, able to find him ultimately. Wow. Okay. And so without giving away too much, I mean, what can we expect in this, this story arc? Um, it's it's going to be intense. It's, you know, no matter what happens to Ray in this immediate moment or after, if he, if, you know, he survives it all, um, you can't, erase what happens to a person in this predicament. Uh, you can't take it back. Uh, so the ability to deal with it in the moment and if he does afterwards, and then, you know, if he can afterwards, if there is an afterwards for him, um, it's going to have lasting repercussions uh, e even within uh, what's happening to him because they're not going to take it easy on him. So we're going to see the, the elevated drama of the show that Spencer Hutton, the showrunner uh, and head writer, has uh, kind of ingrained uh, in this season, along with Chris Chulak and, and all these guys. Uh, and you're going to see what that does to uh, David Boreanaz's character, Jason, and the rest of the team, and, and the family, for that matter, with uh, Carissa Farkery playing uh, my wife. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I'm curious, as an actor, I mean, what, uh, what has it been like to play this character and to really get into some stuff here that's, aside from all the physical action, mentally and emotionally, it just seems like a lot. Um, it has been. Uh, it has been. And it's, it's been an absolute joy. I'm, I'm so thankful uh, for the writing and the writers. You know, the, the COVID protocols and everything has uh, kind of forced us, uh, kind of forced the, the writers team to, to elevate the, their style of writing and, and, and the drama. Uh, and, it, and it's prevalent in every script that I read. It's amazing. But I, but I, I tell people all the time, I, I play pretend for a living, no matter what, <laughs> no matter what it is, no matter how dark it gets, it's still pretend. I'm a big kid and I've, I've decided to be a big child for the rest of my life. So uh, th that is, in, in fact, a dream come true. So even when it gets sucky and, you know, it's raining and I'm being beaten, you know, my hands are raw from the, 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 the zip ties and, you know, I'm getting the screws put to me. It's still like I'm playing pretend. So yeah. it's, it's still. Well, you do a good job at it for sure. And, and you mentioned COVID. Are you guys filming right now? Has that come to a halt because of the California spike? Well, we had our, uh, our um, a break and we were supposed to come back next week, but then they took an extra week just to make sure that all the tests were being done right and that we had the, uh, the, the, the protocols in, in place, that the ability to, 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 to uh, enact those protocols. CBS has been very, very, very strong about this and very good and, and very uh, well-versed in, in, in taking care of us and making sure the cast and crew and everyone is safe. Um, and, you know, our line producer, Princess Nash, has just been so good at making sure that even within those protocols, we have more protocols. Yeah. So, um, feel safe. We, we start tomorrow. Uh, okay. Rebecca. Well, we, we certainly you. hope that everyone can, can stay healthy because uh, I know that the new episodes look fantastic. So, we're excited to see everyone get back to work. Thanks for the preview, Neil. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, of course. And be sure to check out the new episode of SEAL Team. It airs tomorrow at 9 p.m. on our sister station, Coin 6.